From the beaches to the bay, coverage you can count on. WRDE Coast TV News Today. Your morning news starts right now. Good morning. Welcome to Coast TV News Today. Here's some of the latest news. The Wicomico County Health Department has teamed up with the Salisbury Fire Department to initiate the Narcan Leave Behind program. Here's how it works. The fire department will start carrying around Narcan kits with them. Narcan reduces the effects of an opioid overdose. If they're responding to an overdose event, but the patient refuses to go to the hospital, they will leave a kit behind with them. The department also says kits will be left or offered to people who first responders have identified as someone who could use it. Later today, Dewey Beach commissioners are expected to vote on an ordinance to increase fines for kids and teenagers who break the town's curfew. If passed, the maximum fine would be increased to $300 from the original $100. This would also increase maximum fines for parents of these kids and teenagers the same amount, but only after a child's first violation. This meeting takes place at the Dewey Beach Life Saving Station at 3 p.m. Left and right, orange cones can be seen lining the streets throughout Milford. Four major projects are causing lane closures, detours, and delays for people driving there. Deldot says it has to do all this work now for safety and compliancy, like repairing the bridge over the Mispillion River. But neighbors say the road work is just too much all at once. Deldot says projects like Route 113 and Route 14 are expected to be completed in the next couple of months, but projects like the Miss Pilliam Bridge are under repair indefinitely. For more news and coverage you can count on, stick with us for Coast TV News midday at 11 a.m.